This part of the lesson is going to teach you how to play verse 1 and verse 2. So take a look at the music of verse 1 that's measures 9 through 16. Verse 1, we start out with a crash and a china symbol at the same time. And again, if you don't have a china symbol throughout this music, you can just use a second crash or something else so that you can still play the song. So we start out 1. The drum beat here for the hi-hat, the hi-hat part, you're going to see that it says slightly loose hi-hat. It's not going to be tight. It's just going to be loose a little bit. You also see that there are parentheses around the the second X and the fourth X and the sixth X. Every other X, there's parentheses. Those parentheses mean a ghost note. That means you're going to tap it very lightly. So what you have going here, the pattern for the hi-hat, is going to be uh, a regular hit and then a very soft hit. The way I do that without wearing myself out throughout the song is I have a hard hit, and then on the way back up, I kind of just let the stick drop and hit it. So I have hit, back up, hit, back up, hit, back up. So actually my second hit is really just a drop of the stick. So I hit it and drop the front while I pull this up. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... You could do it however you like. That's just how I do it to make it easier on my hand. Take a look at measure 10. You have an X with a circle around it on count one. That means you're going to open the hi-hat. It's going to be a, a hit that's open, and you leave it open all the way to count two because it's a quarter note. One, two. And you bring it back to slightly loose again. So you're going to have one, two. One, two. Then you're going to go into the verse's main beat. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and I'm going to slow that down a little bit. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. If you're having trouble playing those eighth note ghost notes, it's perfectly fine just to play quarter notes through that rhythm like this. Two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. That's all you're really going to hear anyway. And when you listen to the song, those are the beats that really stand out in the hi hat. You don't you don't really hear the ghost note. The ghost note is just simply there to help keep time and to keep it flowing. The first verse keeps that pattern going all the way until uh, measure 16, where we change it up a little bit. We're going to have a bass drum on the uh, so we have it on the one and also the uh, one a two, one a two, and then the regular beat goes until count four, where you have an open hi hat on count four. And that open hi-hat leads you into the pre-chorus. So that last measure is going to sound like this. One, a two, and three, and four, and... Do it again slower. One, a two, and three, and four, and... I'm going to play all of verse one for you, which is measures nine through sixteen. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... The second verse is very similar, just some slight changes. Uh, one change is that instead of only playing it through for eight measures, this verse is twice that. It's 16 measures. The first eight measures, measures 33 through 40, are exactly the same as what you played for the first verse. The second eight measures, measures 41 through 48, are almost exactly the same. All the way up until measure 48, that's where it changes a little bit. Measure 48 has your bass drum on the one and the uh, like before. One, a two, and then you have the and. Now the open hi-hat is on the three instead of on the four. So it's just one, a two, and three, and, and then a flam on four. Four and one into the pre-chorus. I'll do it slow. One, a two, and three, and four, and one. I'm going to play all of verse number two. That's measures 33 through 48 along with the metronome. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two 
three and four and one.